Hi folks, John Saunders, some of you may know me from the YouTube channel, NYC CNC. I had the chance to come here and film a video tour of Born & Co. and I'm here with my host, Joe Goral, Director of Sales and Marketing at Born & Co. What is this? This is the new MT Cube. It's our grind mill turn machine. As a person who has had an affinity for Blanchard grinders, you see some Blanchard-esque elements, but really this is a VTL, a grinder, a milling machine in one? It is. It uses different spindles to tailor the right spindle and tool for the job. Okay, so basically you have a, a large machine tool in the form of this rigid structure in the table, but the spindle actually just interchanges? Yes. Spindles change from one to the other, so it has like a dedicated turning tool spindle. Okay. It has mill grind spindles that our engineering developed with Setco okay. to be able to grind and mill with the same spindle. Okay, so you're talking grinding like you would see on a jig bore or? Like on a Springfield style machine. Okay. So like a vertical cylindrical grinder. So you could set up a large part, you could rough turn it, and then you could automatically swap out the spindle to a grinding wheel that's going to allow for certain either tolerancing or service finish requirements? Yes. That's cool. Tell me about the spindle again. So it's all this, it's, it's swaps out, not just the holder, but the whole spindle. It'll swap out the entire spindle and the tool itself. So okay. let's say that you had a grinding spindle in there and you wanted to do an ID grind, a larger wheel. Okay. Then you want to do an OD grind or you wanted to grind just to a shoulder. Yeah. You could swap out those individual wheels to hit all of those different surfaces yep. with the right wheel for that surface. So the motor, the motor stays in upstream, but you're actually swapping out the whole spindle cartridge assembly. Yes. Okay, because I saw like HSK 63, I saw a different HSK taper. So it's it's not just the HSK spindle, it's actually above, or it's the part that holds that. It is, okay. it's the part that holds that. And it essentially is a very large HSK taper. Uh, we call okay. it our HBK 200 okay. connection. So it's a very large HSK taper that fits up into that portion of the machine. So your tool changer has a tool changer. Our tool changer has a tool changer, yes. Um, so how does that, that's what we see the robot for? Yes, that's okay. what the robot is used for. So it mounts up that spindle to a, a Fanuc spindle motor that has okay. 30 kilowatts of power and 13,000 RPM. Oh, at wow, the tool. okay. Interesting, because you have a circle diamond square test up on there, which was done as milling, no grinding yet, just milling no on No grinding yet. Okay. But that is milled and turned. So and that turned. was turned and milled in the machine. So the and so milling is polar interpolation. It is. Okay. Yep. Or so we use that? a virtual Y axis yep. in the machine to be able to use the C axis and the X axis of the machine to make those types of moves yep. in order to generate those types of cuts. So you you put this on your floor. You can decide. Well, I guess you don't have to decide. That's the beauty of it. If you want to have certain cutting tools in of certain sizes, certain turning tools, they are also stored in the tool changer, but it's quite flexible. It is, it's very flexible. So you can add in new tools to your tool changer. You can add in different spindles as you go along. So you can buy the machine with just a grinding and milling spindle. Mm -hmm. And then later down the road, you can add in a turning tool spindle, Got or you it. can add in a shorter grinding spindle. So as your work changes and evolves for your yeah. shop, you can change the machine to suit it. Yeah, that's cool. This idea that like, hey, if a certain type of work slows down, the machine is, I mean, it's not even retrofitable. It just all of a sudden can become a VTL or it can become a, a grinder mm -hmm. or, or a large mill. It can, yes. So if you decide that you want to buy this machine as a vertical grinding machine and that type of work is no longer something you're doing or want to do, yeah. then you can use that same spindle for doing milling work. So now you've got a milling cool. spindle. Cool. Or if you want to just do turning, now you've got the ability to get a turning tool so that you can do yeah. VTL work. But no issue um, doing the obvious of multi-process in the same setup? No issue. Okay. Yeah. How do you program it? Well, program it through a CAM software. Okay. We use Autodesk HSM, mm -hmm. and we also have Fanuc Manual Guide I. Okay. And then we also have our own conversational human machine interface for doing the grinding cycle. Okay. So for doing your ID and your OD grinding yeah. and your dressing cycles, that's all programmed conversationally. Oh, sure. Hey, yeah. Think about dressing. Exactly. That's so cool. yeah, you can see on the front edge of the table, 
there's a small dresser there for doing bottom face and the periphery of the wheel that you can still dress within the machine. That's crazy, it's really cool. It allows you to put a part in, take a part out this year. And before, if you wanted to manufacture, say, that circle diamond square test, but yeah. also be able to hold a couple of tenths on that outside diameter, you'd have to take it from machine to machine to machine, yeah. reset it up, refixture it, and you may not get what you're looking for because every time you're doing a different set. And this allows you to go in there, mill it, turn it, grind it, pull it off, and one and done. If there's a, a drive dog on turning, the lock, the turning tool, or how does the turning side work? The turning tools are dedicated turning tools, so they are static, so we don't lock the spindle in so that there isn't any of that issue that you can see with that type of setup yep. for doing a mill turn. It's a dedicated turning tool spindle. It looks cool. It is cool. cool. I mean, it, it looks like it goes zero to 60 in right. a few seconds. No, but joking aside, I mean, there's real limitations on the footprint within a shop or uh, certainly from a capital standpoint, having multiple different machines versus having them in one. Mm -hmm. Not to mention the whole idea that it can be one and done on the setup hassle of labor, of skilled labor, moving parts between fixtures, between machines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally makes sense. It makes a lot of sense, yeah. Cool. When you're talking like a precision vertical grinder, that's more of a niche piece of equipment. Right. You don't see that a lot. So yeah. if you need that type of capability but can't necessarily justify right. buying a dedicated grinder, now you have this other capability within the machine that yeah. you can use when you're not doing vertical grinding. So three spindles, if you will, but then, um, I mean, I saw the robot, no real limit on the number of tool holders because of the external carousel. Yes. So you could even have a couple of different levels to that tool yeah, carousel right. there. And you'd be able to continually change those tools out. So yeah. you could tool it up for a one and done type of job, or you could have just the tools you need for a certain type of work. It's actually really cool when you walk, when you walk in the lobby and you see iconic American machine tool brands, uh, Bullard, DeBleed, Blanchard. Uh, this is now a Born and, a born and Co machine now. Mm -hmm. It is. So we've built our own machine tools for a number of years and we've owned a lot of the iconic machine tool brands that have been built in America since the early 1900s. This is us taking the technologies and the functions of those machines and making it into one. Yeah. So it's a VTL like a Bullard. It's a cylindrical grinder like a Springfield. It's a milling machine like a DeVleet. It's It allows you to get all of that in one machine. It's, it's the first time any of those machines have probably ever seen a Phantom Robot or maybe this whole Industry 4.0 thing, but it's actually kind of cool. It's very cool, yeah. Well, thanks for showing me. You're welcome.